So a brand new paper, June 2008, it's the Mechanics M1 paper, and we're going to start with question number one. So classic collisions question, and you can tell that from two particles and the line of a smooth horizontal table and told about the impulse. The only difference is we're starting with the impulse part of the question, and we usually start with um, the collision part with a principle of conservation momentum. But, so we're told something about the impulse. We're told that the impulse, well we know the impulse, is the final momentum if we consider particle P and the initial momentum of particle P. But we know that the impulse was 3. We know the mass. We don't know the final velocity of P, but we do know that it was initially at rest before it was given the impulse. So it's 0 0.4 times 0. That gives us a very nice equation, 0 point, uh, 3 is equal to 0 0.4 V, where V is the velocity after the impulse, and that tells us that the impulse has caused P to start moving with a velocity of 7.5 meters per second, or ms minus 1. Well, if we consider the second part of the question, immediately between the collision, um, well, they're going to collide, so they're going to rush each other. So P is now travelling at 7.5 and Q is still at rest. So let's just draw a little diagram to help us with this. So if we draw particle P, then we draw particle Q. We know that P is travelling with 7.5 before, and immediately after the collision between P and Q, the speed of Q, well, Let's assume that they let's draw arrows assuming they're all travelling and let's add the numbers on. So this is P and it's 0 0.4 and this is Q which is 0 0.6. Initially this is zero, the velocity of that is zero, it's at rest. And the P was travelling at 7.5 from part one. Afterwards, we need to show that the speed this speed is zero. So let's just assume it's a velocity V and we're told that Q gets uh, a speed of 5 after the collision. So let's use the principle of the conservation of momentum. Now this tells us that the total momentum of the system before is equal to the total momentum of the system afterwards, such that uh, mass times velocity, the momentum of P, 0.4 times 7.5, plus 0.6 times 0, which is obviously going to be 0, is equal to the momentum afterwards. So it's 0.4 V plus 0.6 times by 5. So we can sort all this out, and we find out that 0.4 times 7.5 is 3, is equal to 0.4 V plus 3, so when we subtract 3 from both sides, we get the equation 0.4v is equal to 0, and therefore we find out that v is 0 ms minus 1, as we were asked to show in the question, i.e. that after the collision, p starts off at 7.5, ends up at rest, q starts at rest, moves off with a velocity of 5. Question finished.